G'day guys and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to rig a cloth simulation in Blender 2.81. So this is what it's going to look like. Um, it's not really an animation tutorial, um, it's just more about how to actually do the, do the setup. So if you're really new to Blender, this might be a little bit challenging, but if you kind of already know the, the basics, um, you should be able to follow this tutorial quite well. So once again, just rigging a cloth simulation in Blender 2.81. Let's get started. Okay, so with a new and empty scene opened up in Blender, I'm going to go ahead and go Shift A Mesh, and we're going to add a plane. Once we've added a plane, we're just going to scale it up by two. So we're going to go S, and then two, and then we're going to hit Enter, and then we're going to go Control A, and we're going to apply scale. Now we're going to add our armature. Shift A, we're going to go down to Armature, and click Armature. We'll now see a bone is here on top of our mesh. So we want to create two more bones. So with our bone here selected, we're going to go to our edit mode. And in edit mode, we're going to select our bone and then go shift D and then Y. And we're going to move our bone to the side like so. So it's right on the edge there. And then we're going to grab this one and go shift D, Y, and just move it along the Y this way. Okay. So our goal here is to rig these vertices here along the edge. And you can rig whichever vertices you want. This is just the example that I'm showing you guys. So with these two bones now created, I'm going to select both of them, holding in shift, and then still holding in shift, the last bone I select is this middle one. I'm going to go control P, and we're going to go to keep offset. Now we have this rig set up. That's simple enough. So what we do now is we go to object mode, and we select our plane here, and we also go to our armature here. So the click first on here, holding in shift, click on the armature. Then we're gonna go control P, and it's very important what we're about to do. Make sure you go to with empty groups. You do not wanna do automatic weights, but empty groups. So once you've done that, we can now click on our plane here. We can go to our mesh or object data settings. We can see here we have our um, groups here created. So with that done, we're gonna tab into edit mode. Better yet, one thing that can make this a little bit easier if we just select our armature first, and we just go into edit mode. All we have to do is just come here to our armature dropdown. You can see here bone, so this is bone one is selected, and then we have bone zero one. So I'm just gonna call this bone R for the right bone, and I'm gonna name this one bone L for left. Okay, so our right bone, left bone. You don't have to do that, it's just to make things a little bit easier. So we can go to object mode. And now when we select our, our plane here, we can see bone R and bone L. So all we have to simply now do, do now is just go to uh, back into edit mode. And then we're gonna go right click with all the vertices selected and we're gonna subdivide. And I have found a really good um, point of subdivision cuts that's not too high or too low is about 25. But that's for my machine and what I can use. So I'm going to go with 25. If you're doing this on a laptop, you can set that a little bit lower, whatever makes it easier for you. And with that done, we can close this up, deselect all the vertices. And what we want to do is assign these vertices to the bones we want um, them to be, the bones we want to control them. So for example, on our right side here, I'm going to select all of these vertices. And I'm just going to make sure I'm in the, the front of a graphic. Yes, that's right. So with my, my right bones here selected, I'm going to go to my vertices groups here. I'm going to click on bone right, and I'm going to go assign. Then I'm going to deselect those vertices. Then I'm going to select the ones on the left. And I'm going to do the same thing, but with the left. So bone left, assign, and deselect. So if I were to go now with everything deselected and click on bone R, and I go select, I can see it only selects those. And if I did the same thing with bone L and I went select, I can see it selects those. And one more thing we can do that's gonna be useful later on is just to create a pinning group. So I'm gonna select both of these, those vertices and these ones, and just go plus, and we're gonna call this group pin, and we're gonna just go assign. So we should just have those vertices assigned. That's, that's pretty much done, so let's get into the next step. 
what we're going to do is go to our um, physics tab here with our plane selected we're going to go to cloth we're going to set the quality steps to 10 then we're going to go down to shape we're going to go to pin group and we're going to select pin close that then we're going to go to collision we're going to set the quality steps here to 5 we're going to go down and we're also going to enable self collision now what we need to do is go to our modifiers tab and we need to make sure that our armature is above our cloth. So if your cloth is above the armature for whatever reason, make sure that you set it down because the armature needs to be at the top. That is a very important part of making this work. So if we, just to, if we were just to hit the um, play button now, we can see our animation is playing here, but we're not really seeing anything because we haven't actually animated our rig. But it is working and that's the, the main thing. So let's quickly do a short little animation just to test it out. So go back to frame one. And by the way, to go back between the frames to the to the front frame and the end frame, I'm just going shift and then using the, the arrow keys. So shift and left arrow key takes it to the front. So what I'm gonna do is select my armature. I'm gonna go into um, pose mode. I'm gonna make sure I'm on frame one. And then in my front, Front, front orthographic. Um, yeah, I think I might have earlier. I might have actually created um, it from the side view. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go in my side uh, right orthographic. I'm just going to lift this bone up to about here, and I lift this one up to about here. In fact, I might just take them all up to here. So take this one like so, then go to the front and just kind of pull this one out, and then just grab this guy and pull that out maybe rotate it a bit rotate it um, yeah that's a nice pose so I need this to be on probably somewhere in the middle so I'm gonna go to frame 130 and I'm gonna press A to select all of these and I'm gonna go I and just lock rotation scale okay and then back to frame 1 and I'm just gonna go Alt G, Alt R and Alt S just to make sure what everything's cleared. So it's back to where it was, and I'm gonna go I, location, rotation, scale, to um, in insert the keyframes. So I should have something that looks like this. And then I'm gonna to go to the, my end frame, or maybe frame 200, and then just move these around again. So it's, you can do whatever animation you want. This isn't really an animation tutorial. It's just to kind of give you the, um, an idea of how this all works. Maybe take it like this it up, select all of them, insert location, um, ro rotation and scale. Just I'm hitting I to do that. So if I go through here, I should have something like this. And don't worry too much about the cloth at the moment. Um, we'll get to that in a second. So yeah, just this is this animation works. Just having a look at that. And then maybe on the, the last frame, I'll have this bone here just move up in like that. This one like this. Like I said, this isn't an animation tutorial. I'm just kind of doing a rough animation just to give you the idea of how this works. So if I go back to object mode, go to my front, uh, my first key, and we hit play, we're going to see the animation playing. So yeah, I'm really happy with this kind of little setup it's it's not the most advanced way to do it or probably better ways you could do this it's just a quick and easy way if you're in a rush to just do a bit of a, a rig up of a, um, a cloth simulation so you can also enable smooth shading yeah it messed things up a bit and if you want you can also go and add a subdivision surface and if you want more detail you can put your subdivision surf uh, modifier at the top of the stack so if you play it, it's going to take a bit longer, but you can get more detail in your cloth simulation. As you can see, I've just skipped ahead to just let it um, um, cache for a little bit. So this is what the animation looks like with more subdivisions added. So I hope you guys liked this tutorial. I hope um, it's been useful. If you did, please subscribe. It really helps when you guys subscribe. Um, hit the like button, and I will see you guys for another tutorial.